Super Mario, Time's Up, written by Matt Randy. I always loved playing Super Mario Bros. on my NES when I was little, but something happens that was scary that the creator of the creepypasta apologized for it. On April 1st, 2005, my mom decided to bring the NES from the attic for me and my creepypasta loving little brother Daniel. I decided to put the Super Mario in my mailbox to my mailbox. When the package arrived though, I would tell something it is up. The package was crudely drawn under the words Super Mario Bros. Time's Up, written in permanent marker. So I asked the mailman. He didn't hear my words. He just stood there doing nothing. So I popped it in my old NES, but sadly, Bowser said, Dear Matt, this is all just a prank. Yours truly, Bowser. Mario just stay started on World 1-1. There were visual changes in World 1-1. First, the sky was pitch black and clouds were gray, as if a thunderstorm or a tornado were to begin. Stomped Goombas were everywhere. Koopas cowered in their shells. The music was at a low pitch, 8-bit pitch. Sounds that can't be made on an 8-bit console. Blocks including bricks and mystery boxes were not able to be broken. Also, the timer was set to 666, even though it started at 400 in game seconds. Once I made it to the giant castle, the screen went red static, with sounds that can't be made on an 8-bit console. I spawned inside the, the world 1-4, the castle stage, there were no music playing, and issues were still there. Mar no Bowser showed up on the bridge, so I crossed it. Toad never said, sorry Mario, but your princess is in an air castle. Instead, he said, sorry Mario, but you're too late. There was more at the back, so I walked to two minutes while holding B to run. Static appeared in the background, and later I saw Peach on the ground, even though originally she stood up and ended the quest for her and Mario. Why didn't you save me? Then a flashing image went from reversed to devil. Mario had red eyes, gritted teeth, and the words atop his head read, I am God, while the loud scream broke ears. But this time, I swear to God, it was louder than before. That satanic picture had torn off my puppy's fur. Mario appeared in a dark room, invisible ground, no skybox, no enemies, no obstacles, no nothing. It was endless. I came across a red Mario-esque character that gave the NES the blue screen of death. I turned it off as if I was mad. I threw the controller at the TV screen, causing it to break. I then threw the game cartridge at the wall, and it shattered in a million pieces. There was a note in it. It said, Dear Son, Time's up. Dad. I hate him, and I stayed away from Mario games forever, and that's my story.